Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2014 Dodge Durango in black. Now this one has the Rally Appearance Package with the dark colored wheels. And uh, it has a really good look to this one because it's all... It, it just all blacked out, I guess you can say, and it looks really cool. Really like the grill here. You've got the shiny black grill, projector headlights and fog lights. It really looks sharp. I wish I can show you that at night. But um, everything lights up. The back has some really cool lights too at nighttime. Now, here it's got the 20 inch wheels, aluminum wheels. And they're kind of not completely black, but they're darkened. And has a little bit of gloss, like a semi gloss, I guess you can say. little bit of, limited on space on this side of the vehicle but I'll show you on the other side of a broader view but the key to this vehicle is a it's a proximity key this is what it looks like and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my pocket and leave it in my pocket the whole time just to show, show you how you can interact with this vehicle without actually taking the key out of your pocket but here in the back you see it's got the the uh, dark tinted windows but also it's got the dual exhaust and the backup sensors and a backup camera has a really sharp look this is the kind of glow this right here kind of glows at nighttime around here I don't know if you've seen one of these at nighttime but it looks really sharp front and back and everything all right so let me show you on this side here what it looks like the whole thing all right so I've got the key in my pocket and um, let me make sure let me go ahead and lock it show you how to do that because I already unlocked it but there it's locked and I can unlock it just by putting my hand behind the handle here and it just kind of unlocks everything so I can lock and unlock it with just um, you know just using my hand without the key in my hand as long as the keys in your pocket or your purse you're good to go now you can see that I unlocked it now you see that light shining hopefully you can see that during the day but let's go ahead and start here on the back now here's the third row I'm gonna put these up just gonna want to show you something when we get up to the front there's a these these seats fold down the second row seats fold down you have a lot of cargo space if you need it and here's a little, little bit of space back here pretty decent you've got a rechargeable LED flashlight there a little pocket there you do have a power supply to the right and this right here opens up and you've got a nice big storage bin under here So let me go close this close that back down. Take a look here in the back. Here's the inside of the back door, one of the back doors here. You can see it's got like a metal looking trim and all the rest of it's all black. You do have a, a step threshold here. Now here's the back seat, the very back third row. You got cup holders, you got pretty decent amount of leg room. And you have some, you, you know, climate control vents there on the ceiling. And you have the ability to adjust the climate for the rear passengers there. Now, as you can see, I've got this seat flipped up. It does flip up a little bit more when the front seat's full, more forward. But it get, just gives you an idea of how you can get in and out uh, of this vehicle from the third row. Now, this seat folds down, lifts up like so. And you see it's got the, uh, the, the captain's chairs here in the back. the cup holders and little storage pocket and stuff there's some more vents there and it does have armrests that fold down you've got some net pockets here in the front of the back seats you've got heated side mirrors now here's the inside of the front driver's door 
we've got your normal controls your door lock window and side mirror controls you got a bottle holder pockets there little tweeter speaker there big speaker there you have power seat here in the front with lumbar support this one has cloth seats has automatic headlights I'm gonna go ahead and open up the fuel container here to show you that it does have a capless fuel design so if you look in there and you don't see a cap it's on purpose okay so I'm gonna go ahead and hop in now I've got the key in my pocket and you can see everything's blacked out there and everything because everything's turned off now I put my foot on the brake now it's telling me that I can push the button to start it up so I can enter the vehicle and I can start it and drive it without taking the key out of my pocket so it's a pretty warm day I'm gonna it's 91 degrees outside according to the digital temperature there I'm facing north you see it shows right up there the temperatures there so I'm gonna turn the AC on a little bit it's because uh, so I can be comfortable hopefully it won't interfere too much with the camera but uh, it's a chance I'm willing to take on a day like today now uh, we'll start with the steering wheel it is a leather wrap steering wheel with stitching and um, looks really sharp to me has a really good feel to it as well it's not too um, like hard feeling it's kind of soft and that way you can your hands won't fatigue on long trips now on the right side you've got your cruise control settings turn on on and off and then you you know you set it just like a normal one on the back of the steering wheel you've got your paddle shifters downshift on this side up shift on that side now right below it just below it you can feel there is a, a volume control knob on the a little toggle switch I, need, I can adjust the volume like that I can change to the stations on the left side just underneath there there's a little switch I can change to the stations now I can turn the volume down on that side so you can you know as your hands are on the steering wheel as you're driving you can adjust the volume, change to the stations, you can shift gears, you can set your cruise control. And on this side, you can actually answer the phone. Once your phone, Bluetooth phone is paired with the system, you can answer the phone. There's voice recognition commands that you can say, uh, like say, turn to a certain station, or set the climate at a certain temperature, or call a certain person, stuff like that. There's lots of different commands, um, which the vehicle comes with a, an instruction booklet on which commands you can use. Um, really cool feature there so your hands can stay on the wheel you can stay focused on the road while you're driving um, and then once you get used to all the features it, it's really helpful and, and, and the really good safety features now these buttons here correspond with this your gauges here now there's your old uh, cluster now in the middle you can see it has a speedometer so I'm going to go ahead and push the right button and that gives me a big digital speedometer versus the large analog style so you can cho choose which one you want now I can scroll through and have has different options like right here it gives me vehicle info like right now it's showing the all the tire pressure individually in each tire I can scroll to the right and it gives me all the specific tire I mean pressures and temperatures of the vehicle as I scroll through and it goes back to the tire pressure so I can scroll down and it gives me the miles per gallon there's a trip uh, so you've got a lot of customization in this menu and um, so there's lots of features there to go through now let me chain this vent another way so I can show you the Uconnect system now this is an 8.4 touch screen 8.4 inch touch screen and I'm going to start here with the first icon there's icons here at the bottom the first one is your radio you do have satellite radio AM FM radio and uh, you can have favorites there at the top you can tune through and stuff like that now media is like say if you have a uh, USB flash drive SD card, USB, 
USB um, auxiliary input. There is a wireless um, feature for Bluetooth, so you can play music off of a Bluetooth device like your cell phone. SD card, now your inputs are down here. So easy to get to. So you can play stuff right off of there. Controls, um, this is where you'll find your heated seat and your heated steering wheel controls, as well as your auto dim mirror. If you want to auto, you know, turn your auto dim mirror on or off, you can do that here. Now right here it says headrest fold. Uh, that's why I put the headrest up. I'm just going to show you how that works. I'm going to push that button now. And you can see those headrests in the back fold down. So that way you give you better visibility. I'll show you the backup camera in a second. Um, climate. This is your basic your climate controls, your fan speed, your temperature, where you want the air to blow, stuff like that. Phone. This is where you would pair your phone. Once it's paired, you would have your favorites there at the top. You can make and receive calls. You can also dial specific numbers. You can go through your phone book, recent calls, messaging, all kinds of cool stuff there. Uconnect apps. Uh, it does have the ability to download apps and use them. One of the things to keep in mind though um, is that when you're using these apps, you see where it says via mobile. That is where you're using data from your cell phone. So you want to make sure that you're aware of that when you're using uh, certain features on here. Alright, so down here we've got the redundant buttons, the volume. Uh, you can tune to a certain station just like your typical old-fashioned radio. Your fan speeds here and uh, you got your temperature and, and stuff like that down here as well that P that's your parking sensor you can turn that off which I'll show you in a second um, that it, it's gonna beep when I put it in reverse because there's a car right behind me eco on that automatically stays on that helps you get better gas mileage in case you but if you want to turn it off and get more sporty with the vehicle you can do that and your traction control, you can turn that off in case you want to do donuts or fishtails or whatever. Um, but it's automatically on when you start the vehicle. Alright, so down here you got a nice pocket. There's your inputs for your radio. you got a power supply there. Now here's your shifter. It is an 8-speed transmission. It says electronic shifter. And so I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse, like so. So now that it's in reverse, my sensors are on and it's alerting me that I'm very close to something back there. And you can see a nice visual and audio display there. And then here's the rear, uh, the backup camera. Now you can see there's a vehicle not very far from behind me. And, um, and there's some lines there. Now you can see all the way from the bumper all the way up to the sky. And all the way, you know, so it's a wide angle view. So you have a really good view from behind the vehicle when you're backing up. Even if something's laying on the ground directly behind you. Now those lines, I'm going to go ahead and turn the steering wheel. And you can see those lines will move and it gives you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle as you're backing up. So that's some really good safety features there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in park. And uh, so it's, it's a little bit different shifter design but it's, it's pretty convenient. Got some cup holders here. And here's a little pocket there. Now here's your center armrest, center console. It has two portions. One is the top. Uh, like a tray that's uh, felt lined and I guess you could put like a cell phone or a small tablet in there It does have a little place to put some cords out if you need to And then you've got a larger pocket there storage pocket It does have a power supply in there as well as a little bit of a little light Which you can't really see during the day because it's not that bright And it does have a little place to put the wires out in case you need that All right, you've got a glove compartment over here, which is felt lined Up here is your auto dim rear view mirror. Place to put your shades is there. You've got like a spotlight there, floodlight there. This little thing is for uh, that's a little infrared sensor for your climate control. That's what that is. Visors have mirrors in them. Same thing on that side. Overall, really nice vehicle. Plenty of room. You've got the third row back there, you've got a second row, everybody will be comfortable and safe. And the seats are, you know, really comfortable, so. But let's go ahead and check underneath the hood, see what it looks like under there.
3.6 liter V6 Pentastar. Got plenty of room under here. And the everything's color coded. The things in yellow will be things that you would check on your own. See what the exhaust sounds like. Let's take a look at this window sticker here. This is where the pause button comes in handy. Everybody that I've talked to that's owned one of these has always gotten better gas mileage than what the sticker says, but I guess it depends on how you drive. Well, there you go. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or send me an email. My email address will be in the description, and I'll see you next time.